Hey guys, it's Owen from Wrestling Inc. back with another wrestling news roundup. Without any further ado, let's get into today's biggest stories in the world of professional wrestling. Opponents for Ric Flair's final match revealed. Earlier this year, it was announced that the Nature Boy Ric Flair would be coming out of retirement for one final match. The match is set to take place at StarCast 5 in Nashville, Tennessee over SummerSlam weekend. What was originally reported as Ric Flair and FTR versus a mystery opponent and the Rock and Roll Express has been officially changed to Flair teaming with his son-in-law Andrade Al Idolo to take on Ric Flair's former TNA rival Jay Lethal and Nashville's own Jeff Jarrett. Flair and Jarrett, of course, have history that spans all the way back to their WCW and WWF days. The feud even got reignited in TNA when Flair jumped to the company in 2010. Not only will Jarrett be appearing at StarCast, but the former Intercontinental Champion will also be the special guest referee for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match at SummerSlam between the champions, the Usos, and the challengers, the Street Profits. As for Flair and Lethal, not only has Lethal been training Flair for his in-ring return, but the two have history in TNA. That includes when Lethal delivered one of his most memorable promos, Flair tried to give away Hulk Hogan's Hall of Fame ring and the blow-off match between Flair and Lethal at Victory Road 10. One week before Flair's final match, Lethal will have an opportunity at the Ring of Honor Television Championship against another longtime rival Samoa Joe at Death Before Dishonor. As for the history between Flair and Andrade Al Idolo, it's fairly new, as Flair's daughter and former women's champion Charlotte Flair began dating Andrade, who was still with WWE at the time back in February of 2019. Since then, the two have married and are now both in different companies, as Andrade wrestles in both AEW and Lucha Libre AAA worldwide. During his time in AAA at Triple Mania, Andrade was accompanied by Flair for a match against then AAA Mega Champion Kenny Omega. Andrade ended up losing the match and the pairing went virtually nowhere as Flair was essentially blacklisted from the wrestling world after the plane ride from How episode of Dark Side of the Ring aired on Vice. Flair and Andrade vs Jarrett and Lethal along with the rest of Ric Flair's final match event were aired live during SummerSlam weekend on Fight TV. As for Jarrett's involvement, WWE Hall of Famer Jeff Jarrett is not under a talent contract with WWE, which is why he is allowed to compete in the upcoming Ric Flair retirement match, according to Dave Meltzer on the latest Wrestling Observer radio show. Yesterday, the main event for the upcoming show in Nashville, Tennessee at StarCast 5 during WWE SummerSlam weekend was confirmed, with Flair set to team up with AEW's Andrade Al Idolo as they take on Jarrett and AEW slash Ring of Honor star Jay Lethal. This will be Flair's final in-ring encounter and an angle was set up for this one with Lethal and Jarrett attacking him, leaving the Nature Boy bleeding. Considering the fact that Jarrett is currently working as WWE's Senior Vice President of Live Events, there was some surprise that he was involved, but because he doesn't have a talent contract with the company, it is possible. While WWE talent have been booked by Conrad Thompson before, such as The Undertaker, they were ultimately pulled by the company. That will not be the case in regards to Jarrett's involvement in the match, as everything has reportedly been worked out when it comes to this deal. The show is featuring talent from a variety of different promotions, with the show featuring a stack car that includes the Briscoes facing the Von Erics and Killer Cross against Harry Smith, amongst others. It's going to be a busy weekend for Jarrett, as not only will he headline this show, which is available on Fight, but he's also going to be the WWE special guest referee at SummerSlam during the undisputed tag team championship match between the Usos and the Street Profits after their recent encounters have seen mistakes from officials as part of the storyline. Alexa Bliss briefly wins her first WWE title in two years. Alexa Bliss held championship gold in the WWE for the first time in more than two years during the July 18 WWE Raw episode, albeit briefly. 
during a six-woman match pitting Bliss, Asuka, and Dana Brooke against Dewdrop, Nikki, A.S.H., and Tamina, Akira Tozawa made a run-in and proceeded to pin Brooke to capture the 24-7 championship. While Tozawa was still celebrating, Nikki capitalized on the situation and pinned him to win the title. Bliss then did the same to her former tag team partner, winning the 24-7 title for the first time in her career. Bliss's reign didn't last long, however, as she was defeated by Dewdrop barely seconds later. The segment ended with Tamina and Brooke being the next ones to be crowned champions respectively until the latter managed to escape with the title. Following the 24-7 title swaps, the six-woman match resumed and ended with Asuka forcing Nikki to tap out to the Asuka lock. After the match, Asuka and Bliss celebrated in the ring a week after WWE teased an alliance as a new tag team. Alexa Bliss had not held a title in WWE since she and Nikki A.S.H. were WWE Women's Tag Team Champions in 2020. Bliss and Nikki defeated the Kabuki Warriors for the titles on night one of WrestleMania 36 to begin their second reign as champions. They would eventually drop the titles to Bayley and Sasha Banks on SmackDown on May 26, 2020. Kevin Owens returns to WWE Raw after unexplained absence. It was previously reported that for the July 18th episode of Raw, Kevin Owens would host a new edition of the KO Show. This would prove to be indeed the case as Kevin Owens held the talk show with his special guest, the original bro Riddle. Owens held the segment after the SummerSlam announcement of Riddle vs Seth freaking Rollins for July 30th in Nashville, Tennessee. Owens offered Riddle help going into SummerSlam, saying he knows Riddle already formed RK Bro with the Viper, Randy Orton, but Bro KO sounded like a good name. Riddle let Owens know he was one of the most untrustworthy people he knew before rejecting his help. Riddle was alluding to the fact that since joining WWE in 2014, Owens has turned his back on many of the partners that he's had. This includes Sami Zayn, Chris Jericho, and even Kofi Kingston. The KO show was then interrupted by Rollins, who would play some mind games with Riddle before coming up behind and sneak attacking him. Owens rolled out of the ring during the brawl, which led to Rollins curb stomping the original bro, ending the segment there. It is still unclear why Owens, who hasn't appeared live on Raw since June 20, was out. He was scheduled to have a Money in the Bank qualifying match late last month against either Ezekiel, Elias, or even Elrod, before the match was cancelled in favour of a last chance battle royal in which Riddle won. It was speculated Owens could have fallen ill, but this rumour was shot down after the former Universal Champion showed up for the NHL draft earlier this month. It's unclear when Owens will have another match, but it is speculated that he and Ezekiel will have a rematch at SummerSlam. So what are your thoughts on today's wrestling news roundup? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wrestling Inc. And I'll speak for you again very, very soon.